As the National Association for Girls and Women's Football, Scottish Women's Football's primary purpose is to provide opportunities for females of all ages and abilities to play and compete in football across Scotland. As a result, SWF owns and is responsible for the management and administration of a large number of competitions across a number of age groups from youth to senior level. Membership continues to grow year on year as more young girls become inspired to play football and get involved at their local club. The role of the club volunteer is an extremely important and vast role within our game. Whether you're a coach, a committee member or a parent helper, you play a pivotal role in the development of our game. Like clubs, SWF relies on volunteer support to operate. This is because our governance structure is comprised of various decision-making committees which are volunteer-led, including the SWF Board of Directors. SWF committee members play a pivotal role in our operational and governance model, making key recommendations and decisions across all areas of the game. Following a recent review, the SWF competition structure is split into two arms of the game, the regional arm and the performance arm. Across each arm, SWF provides admin support to facilitate the smooth running and operations of the competitions, usually via league administrators and work closely with each committee within the governance structure. Within the performance arm, the listed SWF competitions are governed in accordance with the relevant competition rules by the Perform and Win Committee in conjunction with the Policy Working Group. Within the regional arm, the listed competitions are governed in accordance with the relevant competition rules by the Scottish Women's Football League Management Committee and the Scottish Women's Football Highlands and Islands League Management Committee respectively in conjunction with the Policy Working Group. Also within the regional arm, and more specifically looking at the youth game, the listed competitions are governed in accordance with the relevant competition rules by each youth regional league management committee, in conjunction with the Strong Quality Growth Committee. The six youth regional league management committees are Central, East, North, South East, South West and West. SWF's current governance structure provides a clear and intertwined link across all committees within each arm of the game to ensure a well-informed and unified approach. With the director or chair of the Perform and Win Committee also sitting on the Policy Working Group. A member from three Youth Regional League Management Committees also sitting on the Strong Quality Growth Committee. The director or chair of the Strong Quality Growth Committee also sitting on the Policy Working Group. And, yep, you guessed it, those directors from the Perform and Win Committee and Strong Quality Growth Committee also sitting on the Policy Working Group are SWF Board Directors, completing the close relationship between the SWF Committees. So let's take a closer look at the Youth Regional League Management Committees, which for the purpose of this video will now be abbreviated to LMCs. An LMC is formed of six members who receive secretariat support from the SWF League Administrator. Three members are SWF club official representatives elected by the SWF member clubs within the Youth Regional Leagues at the AGM, otherwise known as the end of season meeting. Three members, including the chairperson, are appointed by and represent the relevant Scottish FA region, with the LMC composition intention being to provide a fine balance and vast array of knowledge within the committee. The SWF club representative election process starts with the club volunteer submitting the candidate for election form to represent their club on the committee. This should be supplemented with a written letter of support from the club, supplied by and within the time frame advised by SWF which is usually around 21 days before the region's scheduled AGM. Existing club representatives, already a member of the LMC, do not need to complete and ask their club to submit a candidate for election form with a written letter of support, but should confirm whether or not they wish to stand for re-election when asked by SWF. If four or more different club representatives wish to either stand for re-election or stand for election, the names and club names of the candidates are circulated to all SWF member clubs in their region 21 days prior to the date of the AGM. Clubs are then asked to cast the relevant number of votes for standing candidates based on the number of LMC vacancies as instructed by SWF. In the event of there being no nominations received in advance of the AGM and there are still vacancies within the LMC, nominations may be received at the AGM. The three candidates with the most votes shall be duly appointed as the three SWF club official representatives on the LMC at the AGM for the ensuing season. The remaining three Scottish FA representatives on the LMC are appointed by the relevant Scottish FA region and does not require any election. The relevant Scottish FA region is responsible for sourcing the most suitable representatives, usually non-SWF club officials, 
to balance and further enhance the quality of the LMC. The relevant Scottish FA region are also responsible for appointing the chairperson of the committee, who can either be one of the six appointed members. The period of tenure for each committee member shall be from one year from the date of the appointment. As with all SWF committees, the LMCs play a vital role within SWF, in particular within the youth regional season. The roles and remit of the LMC are built around four key components. The LMC is responsible for governing the Scottish Women's Football Youth Regional Leagues and League Cups within their relevant region and have jurisdiction over all matters affecting those competitions. Usually, the SWF League Administrator compiles and reports cases to the LMC as they arise for their attention and action. With close reference to the relevant competition rules, the LMC have the capacity to principally act upon and enforce the rules which may, for example, mean deciding on any dispute between two or more clubs, investigating, considering and determining any allegations regarding infringement of the rules and imposing such sanction as considered appropriate. Applying the competition rules is a fundamental part of the LMC and should be carried out with care and close attention. Decisions made by the LMC of a judicial nature, such as awarding matches or issuing a fine, are appealable to the SWF Appeals Committee and the Scottish FA Judicial Panel. A member of the LMC should show a high and consistent level of commitment to the position throughout the full period of tenure. Working closely with the SWF League Administrator, members are expected to action any reports from the League Administrator within three days of initial contact to maintain the smooth running of the Youth Regional League operations. An LMC is entrusted to strategically and effectively plan youth regional league compositions and relevant meetings throughout the season as required, in accordance with SWF's annual youth regional season timeline with support from the league administrator. Given the LMC's strong knowledge of team geography and playing ability within the relevant region, LMCs should schedule at least two meetings every year to plan the youth regional league season accordingly. As prompted by the youth regional season timeline, LMCs should meet at least once in January before the season begins to plan suitable youth league structures within the region, confirming playing dates, league cup formats and allocating all SWF registered youth teams within the relevant region appropriately based on the youth league management committee's knowledge of the team's geography and playing ability. LMCs should then meet again in June at the midway point in the season to follow a similar planning process to that of January. At this stage, LMCs will have been able to see and review teams' playing level and consider any amendments required to youth regional leagues, usually aimed at the younger age groups. An LMC should share SWF's vision and support the continued development of girls and women's football across Scotland. As a key stakeholder in the game, the LMCs are invited to attend and participate in other SWF meetings and events throughout the season where members are encouraged to review and feedback on areas of the game in order to continually enhance rules, processes and opportunities for all. An LMC member should represent SWF and abide by the code of conduct which all LMC's members sign at the start of each season. The Youth Regional League Management Committees are extremely important bodies within SWF's governance structure and offer exciting opportunities to their members, volunteering in a fast-growing sport within a dynamic and unified association.